Welcome to Using WordPress, creating an affordable website that search engines will love. Today I'm going to cover installing WordPress on a GoDaddy hosted site. This is the long and hard way to install WordPress, but we're going to cover it because this is the normal way that most domains require you to install WordPress if you do not have them install it for you. What you'll need, you'll either need a GoDaddy or a similar hosting site. You'll need text editing software, and that, if you're on a PC, Microsoft Notepad's best, and if you're on a Macintosh, Mac Text Edit's best. Don't use Microsoft Word, however. You'll also need a program called FileZilla. I'm going to use this because it will allow me to describe how to upload files on all domains, not just GoDaddy. This is a little bit of the, the long way around uploading files, but I'm doing it for that reason. And you can download FileZilla at filezilla-project.org. You're going to need WordPress, and you can download that at wordpress.org. And you're going to need a secret key for WordPress, and I'll get into that a little bit later. Just so you know, this is the basic process, no matter what domain you, uh, you would install WordPress on. You need to set up a private hosted domain, in my circumstance, GoDaddy. Download all required downloads. I just told you everything on the previous frame that you're going to need to download. You're going to need to log into your account. You're going to need to create a database, and that is super simple. Make changes to a WordPress text file. You're going to upload that folder to a, a hosted account, in my circumstance, GoDaddy. You're going to log into WordPress administration area, and you are essentially done. So let's get into it. First, just want to let you know, this is WordPress.org, and this is what you would click to download WordPress. Those two buttons right there. This is FileZilla-Project.org, and you click this to download the client and then choose whichever version you need. If you're on Windows, you're going to click on this link right here and it's going to install FileZilla right for you. So we don't need that anymore. We don't need this anymore. We're going to leave the key for a little bit later on. Now back to GoDaddy. You're going to type in your user ID and your password and hit go. Now what you're going to do is click o go over here and click on hosting. Now you're going to pick where you want to install WordPress and click on manage account. It's going to open that in a separate box. Now what you're going to do is go up here to databases and click on my SQL. I already have some in here, but I'm going to go to create database. Now here, for description, I'm going to type in WordPress. Database and your username. This is going to be very important. I'm going to type in my name. And I'm going to type in a password. And then I need to confirm that password. Ignore this information down here. Go up here, leave my SQL version selected as 5.0. Allow direct database access. Make sure this says no. And of course, whenever you type in your password, it's going to give you a rating saying how strong it is. And you're going to go down here and click OK. And whenever you do that, I already have this set up, you are basically going to see a window that's going to look like this. And it's going to load, and we're going to come back to that in a second as soon as it loads. Well, let's go back into, you install WordPress into a folder, I am assuming. Here is my folder with WordPress in it. And I'm going to go here to wp-config-sample.php. That is the important part. And I want to open that in a text file editing tool. Whenever you do that, you're going to come, you're going to open it up in a text file, and you're going to see here database name, you're going to type in there the database name that you entered on the previous screen. The database user, if you followed my directions, is going to be the same as the database name. Your password is going to be whatever you typed in there. And this information 
we should have ready for us if we jump back over into the hosting center. And yes, we do. You're going to want to copy this information where it says host name. Copy that. Jump over into text editing and paste it right here, that information. Then what you're going to want to do is scroll down here. Remember I said there's a secret key you're going to have to enter? Well, you just have to go to this address right here, and it's apiwordpress.org forward slash secret dash key forward slash 1.1 forward slash. And you're going to want to copy this information that's right here, authorization key, secure authorization key, logged in key, and the other key. Jump back into text edit. Go down here, you can see that this information in your text editing tool is precisely the same. It just requires you to enter the key. The only thing I would say to you is make sure that whenever you select the key in your browser, that you do not select these two uh, quotes because you don't want to have double quotes in there. You would just copy them and save those key as said. And you're going to go want to file save. You're going to want to chop the ending off of this and call it .php as you can see here. If you're on a Mac you're going to want to set this to UTF-8. And if you're on a PC, more than likely you're going to want to uh, select the box that says text files and you want to switch that to all files. This is another look at this box. And so it's going to be wp-config.php and you're going to click on save. In my circumstance, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to close that. Now what we're going to do is go to your trusted file Zilla which you downloaded, I would hope. And here you're going to type in whatever your host name is. So it's going to be whatever your domain name.com more than likely, your user ID and your password. And then port 21. This is going to stay the same. And you're going to click on Quick Connect. And I did that successfully. Up here in this box, you're going to find the location for your WordPress file that you just downloaded on your computer and where you just saved the previous text file. You're going to want to go over here. If you don't have it already set up, you want to right click in this area and create a new directory, maybe titled blog. I've already done this. You can see it right here. Once I do that and I have WordPress selected, I'm going to want to select all of these files like this and then I want to upload them and they're all it's going to take a little bit of time they're all going to upload over into this directory over here we have everything pretty much set up now you have all of your files uploaded everything's all edited everything's pretty much ready to go now what you're going to need to do is go to in my circumstance this is going to let me zoom up here a little bit this is my domain name slash blog forward slash WP admin forward slash install PHP you're gonna to want to go to this address except this is gonna be your domain name you want to type in your blog title and you want to type in your email and then you want to leave this check where it says allow my blog to appear in search engines and click on install WordPress then it's gonna automatically give you a username admin in this circumstance and it's going to give you a password. You're going to want to copy that password and then click on login. Now this, as you remember, is admin. This is your password. You want to type that in. In my case, I'm going to hit remember me and click on login. And you are on the dashboard, and everything has been taken uh, care of for you. And that is basically it. That's the long and hard way to install WordPress on GoDaddy. I'm going to post uh, in, uh, underneath this video how to set up WordPress on other domains as well. well. I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you, and have a great day.